what's up my beautiful people it's a fire intuition i am here to do your love reading for the weekend which is your daily reading but i'm going to do it as a weekend love reading all right keep in mind this is general guys only take the message if it resonates with you you guys know i tell you in every video that i love you so i'm sending a lot of love out there i love you i love you i love you i love you all right um so just a couple announcements i'm gonna make this short and sweet if i can shuffle these dang on cards um so there's gonna be a, a couple changes nothing too bad but um so on the weekends i'm gonna do like the weekend love reading like friday through sunday if i have the time in my schedule i'll do it like friday saturday sunday far as the daily reading i might do it monday wednesday friday um because your girl passed her exam so um i am now officially certified as a life coach yay so i'm going to be putting some energy into that um and i got a couple of clients that i'm working with now so i'm going to just change how i kind of post on the channel as far as the dailies but you guys know if i have the time i will post every day or what i'm thinking is doing the video shorter to where i'm not doing like um 30 40 50 minute videos and on monday wednesday and fridays i would give you guys that time but then like on tuesday and thursdays you know probably give you guys like a shorter video um but give you like a daily reading i don't know i haven't really figured all of that out yet so um i don't know but i just wanted you guys to know why um my daily readings haven't been like back to back to back because i'm just now finishing school so I had a lot of things going on the baby's birthday i'm just not finishing school the channel you know just a lot of different things but these are all like good things so um but it's just i just been busy and i know you guys love the daily readings but i know i'm gonna have to change it up a little bit okay so i'm just letting you guys know um today is my anniversary yay. it's my seven month anniversary guys so i'm excited yay 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 um that's always exciting um i will post some type of promo or some type of promotion in the community tab sometime today and then like i said if you're part of my email or, or text then i'll text you guys or email you guys whatever i'm deciding to do i do have content so look out for that um i actually changed it up a little bit this week i did it by element so like fire earth water air but i did a third party reading i did no communication and i did case of the x so you guys are going to have three um, readings coming out per sign, okay? And they're all from the 19th through the 31st. All right, guys? I love you. So let's hop into this reading and let's see what messages we have. Also, this weekend, if you guys send me an instant go or an emergency reading, I might block my schedule out um, because we're going. I'm going to San Diego for the baby's birthday. So I will not... Um, I always carry tarot cards with me, but I'm just letting you guys know, like, I won't, you know, like, if it's same day, I probably, I, I can't promise that. Now, if you guys do, like, 24 to 48 hours, then yeah, okay? So, keep that in mind, guys, all right? Let's hop into this reading, and let's see what messages we got for the weekend. Universe and Spirit, what messages do you have for us? Friday, July the 20th through the is it the 22nd don't get me the lion yes through the 22nd all right i love you guys let's see what we got for today Uh-oh, we got this King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So let's see what this is about. All right. Starting out, we have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Devil here. Okay. So for some of you guys, um, you're in a situation... This is a soulmate relationship, Six of Cups. All right. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Pentacles here. 
Now, the weird thing is that we're starting out with the Eight of Pentacles, all right? The Eight of Pentacles is definitely letting me know that, like, whoever you're dealing with or whoever you are dealing with, you know, you guys put in work, okay? Because, like I said, the Eight of Pentacles doesn't come easy. You guys might have a child by this person, but if not, it's just like, like I said, both you guys' ships needed to come in in order to make this relationship work. So, Eight of Pentacles is like a mutual relationship, 50-50 um, are just you guys just both like busting your ass in the relationship here. But then we have this Knight of Pentacles. So it's like you guys are busting your butt. You're in a relationship where you were and you want things to move further. It's like you want marriage. You want this commitment. You know, the Eight of Pentacles to me is like, I'm not going to say like common law, but this sometimes is a, like a long term relationship where you're with someone for like five, six, seven, eight years. And this person never marries you, but you guys have a family. But it's like you want marriage you want all of that you're like if we're going to be the, together this long you know like why not you know and like i said we have the six of cups here so this is a soulmate okay for some of you guys you know you've known this person since childhood and then we have the devil here you guys can be dealing with a capricorn as well now it's like you guys kind of feel stuck here because you want more out of this situation than what they're giving you and then with this devil here, I feel like there has been like some stepping out, you know, like them stepping out. Are you stepping out? But I'm more so looking at this energy as if it's like this person hasn't changed and you're trying to give them the benefit of the doubt with this devil card here. I feel like they just keep telling you like, you know what, we're, I'm going to give you what you want. We're going to get things together. We're going to move forward. And you're like, after all this work we put into this relationship, and with the Knight of Pentacles, you're like, okay, when is it going to turn into what I want, you know? Because the Knight of Pentacles moves slow. But like I said, we have this devil here. So why is the devil here? We have the Emperor and we have the Six of Pentacles. Yeah. So it's like what you guys once had that was balanced, I feel as if there is no more balance here with this devil. Okay? And someone was given to two situations with the six of pentacles and the devil for some of you guys this relationship turned codependent okay and you've been pulling all the weight in the relationship which is why we have this knight of pentacles so it's like what you want you really can't get it because you're pulling the weight here and with this six of pentacles here it's like it, the relationship is one-sided so it's like it's codependent it's one-sided and then they're giving to someone else and then we have this emperor here you want the commitment. They're not taking the action that you want them to take. The emperor is also letting me know that the relationship has been on and off lately. But I would say recently, like within like, not recent, like the last couple years isn't recent. But I feel like when you guys first started out, the first half of the relationship, everything was great. And then that's when things start slowly just going downhill. Okay. Let's see what else we got. We have the seven of cups. We have the five of wands. And we have the world card. Yeah. And this has been a repeated cycle with the world here. Okay. And we have the seven of cups here. And with the seven of cups here, I feel like for some of you guys, it's like what you guys were thinking was really true. You guys thought you were, you know, delusional. You know, and I'm not saying it like that, but I'm just saying like you guys, you know, thought you were, like I said, like delusional. Like you were losing your mind. You're like, no, they're not cheating. No, they're not going to do this. No, they can't be doing this. You know, we're straight. And I feel like the five of wands is kind of like your fears. And I'm only saying that because the five of wands is like major changes. This is like conflicts, pettiness, spats. This is like cheating affairs. And for some of you guys, this is a situation where I feel as if you guys do have fears around cheating or just fears around losing attachment here. And this world card is saying it's time for that karmic cycle to complete itself out. Okay, and release that fear here with this five of wands and that which whatever you're thinking in your mind, seven of cups, that it's real or it is not real because it has been manifested, meaning that sometimes we put stuff in our head. We can't keep our head clear. So when we say the same things over and over again, it manifests into the 3D, into reality. And for some of you guys, you guys have fear around that. And like I said, when you guys first got with this person, everything was great. And then it's like they turned into this devil energy and they just start cheating. They start lying. And then the cycle just kept repeating itself. Why is this five of wands here? Yeah, see, we have rebirth and we have the chariot. And so it's time for you guys to make a judgment call. This is also karma. 
So sometimes we can build our own karma. Like I said, meaning we'll say things and we'll manifest it. You know, like, you know, especially when you think negative, you know. Some of you guys also, you know, in your mind was like, I'll never, like, lose this person. We'll always be together. And then we have this five of wands here. They met someone, you know. For some of you guys, there was a couple suitors here. They were dealing with a couple people. But I don't feel like a couple people at a time. I just feel like they were dealing with a couple people throughout your relationship. And then, like I said, we have rebirth here. Okay? So, rebirth is about, you know, waking up to a situation. And I feel like that's when reality hit. And things, you know, like I said, start manifesting and you see that. But it's like with the rebirth here as well, it's like you guys didn't want to call quits because you love this person. You want to move forward. The chariot. So you can be a cancer or dealing with a cancer. But it's like you want to move forward. You want this old cycle to end. You want things to go back to how they were with this world card here. Clarify the world. Yeah, we have the two of swords and we have the hanged man. So some of you guys are a Pisces or dealing with a Pisces. And with this two of swords, you're blocked. You're stuck. You don't know how the other person feels about you. You're, it's like you're kind of confused. But I feel like this two of swords is you confusing yourself. And the hang man is... Be, and I feel like with the hang man, things aren't moving the way you want to because it's time to come out of this cycle. Meaning like this old cycle, this old way of thinking, this old way of seeing things. But this six of pentacles is also letting me know that this is going to be something that both of you guys are going to have to do in order to bring the relationship back healthy to where it was. Okay? The two of swords is about your actions, you know, about your behavior, your attitude. Like I said, and being blocked emotionally, which is what caused this to manifest here, okay? Because whoever you're with, I see them as being, like, really loyal and dedicated in the beginning. Really truthful and honest. Eight of pentacles, you know? But then things just, like I said, things just took a whole 180 here. Why is the two of swords here? Yeah, we have the hanged man. We have the sun card. So, with the two of swords here, yeah, like, you guys were happy as hell. And we have the fool. You guys could be dealing with an Aries or Leo. Both major arcana, or you can be an Aries or Leo. And we have the emperor up there. That's Aries energy. So, it's like, whoever you were dealing with, I mean, but this can be any sign. Whoever you were dealing with, with the sun card and the fool, like, you guys were, like, super happy. You guys took this new beginning. You guys took this risk. You guys made it work. Eight of Pentacles. For some of you guys, you guys, like, proved people wrong. People that said you guys were going to fail, you, like, proved them wrong. The five of wands will also be the naysayers, the outsiders, proving you guys wrong. Like, you're not going to make it. You know, this is not going to last long. You know, stuff like that. And you guys still move forward. But then, like I said, something happened here. And for some of you guys, you are blocked emotionally to a source. And I feel like certain people that you know or certain people around you don't know what's going on. Because with this sun card here right now, like I said, I just feel like you're sad. You know, the sun card is a really positive card. But, like, it can mean, like, sadness, depression, obstacles. And you're going through all this. And it's like you guys want a new beginning. You want to start over. You want to come out of this stalemate here. You want to come out of this situation. And I don't feel like this person is, like, in another relationship. I just feel like you guys are just not together right now. Or if you guys are together, it's like this is a living situation. But you guys just aren't happy. And you can be an air sign or dealing with an air sign as well. All right? Next, we have the Three of Wands. We have the Knight of Swords. We have the Page of Wands. We have the Nine of Pentacles. So for some of you guys, you guys did separate. We have the Nine of Pentacles here. And that's why you're sad with the sun being above the Nine of Pentacles. You miss this person. But you also seen that when you left this person, you went from the Eight of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles. So you see that you're able to still do it by yourself. You know? But it's like you miss this person and you love this person. You want to be with them. The page of wands is you, you know, waiting for good news to come in. Waiting for them to open up communication with you about starting over, about a new beginning. You can be a fire sign or dealing with one. And with the knight of swords, it's like you're mad, you're hurting. You know, this, you know they, they really hurt you. This person really made you mad with the knight of swords. So it's like your energy is scattered too. And then we have the three of wands here. So with the three of wands under the seven of cups, it's like... You don't know if this person is turning their back on you guys or starting over brand new. Why is the three of wands here? No, they're holding on. Whoever you're dealing with, they're holding on. Okay, four of pentacles, they're holding on. 
and with the hermit you guys could be dealing with a virgo so it's like this person they're still holding on hoping that the connection can come, come back together with the hermit here this is good to me you know i feel like you guys are not going to talk for a while but this person is definitely in hermit mode okay they completely shut you out but why they've shut you out it's like they're still holding on to the connection because they do want to come towards you and their energy is scattered as well and with this page of wands they do want a new beginning they don't want to be single clarify this nine of pentacles yes yeah, so we have the star and we have the king of cups you guys could be dealing with an aquarius you can be an aquarius or be dealing with a cancer pisces scorpio so it's like they do want that hope that renewal they want to come together the king of cups is you know like i said that family man but it's the emotions and feelings there and i feel like while they're in hermit mode and holding on to this it's like they're understanding their emotions now you know because i honestly feel like this person it's not like they lost love for you but i just feel like things were so great in the beginning and then things fell apart that they questioned their emotions for you because that's what the king of cups can do sometimes it's like the king of cups is like very generous they're loving they're like the family man you know but they also can wear their emotions on their sleeve they question their emotions they hold back their emotions they don't like to show their emotions you know and i just feel like part of this person you were dealing with question their emotions they didn't feel as if the connection was still there but as they're in hermit mode you know they're realizing that everything is still there and with the star card it's like they want this new beginning they want to bring things together they still they still feel as if there's some hope here but they just haven't like i said came towards you they didn't communicate that to you because the, the king of swords to me for the overall energy at the bottom of the deck is then like kind of cutting you out blocking you out emotionally not really saying nothing not giving you anything you know and it's like they're in hermit mode realizing this now with this king of cups energy why is this hermit here yes yeah, so if you have the magician and the ace of swords now you know so with the magician it's like in the ace of swords they're like damn they're you know i did i i, I fucked up like they're thinking as a magician they're like dang you know, I, I, you know, I did have some hidden motives. You know, I was messing around with other people. You know, the Ace of Swords is them in hurry mode thinking like, damn, I wasn't honest. I still love this person. I don't want to turn my back. We have Saturn up here, so they're definitely going through a lesson. Okay? And they are scattered, especially if you're dealing with an air sign person. I feel like this person is giving you on and off um, mixed emotions. Like, it's like one day they might open up communication and you might feel happy. Like, oh, I'm getting communication from them. They're talking to me, but then I feel like some days it's like they're cold, they're distant, they're not saying anything. And with the Ace of Swords, they do want to like talk to you, like they do want to open things back up. But they're thinking how they were as a magician and how they use the magician energy in a selfish way and not in a way to like keep the relationship growing. Okay, so it's like you guys manifested things that were in your fears, and I feel like this person didn't really have fears around the relationship, and as a magician took this energy in a in a selfish manipulative way i mean use this energy in a selfish man, manipulative way and now with this ace of swords they can't do nothing but true be truthful and honest with themselves about their feelings towards you about the connection about the relationship and about what they did to you knowing that their feelings are real and valid towards you okay knowing that you're special and they really want to be with you the star card knowing that this was meant to be because who's going to put all this work in with someone eight of pentacles Who's going to bust their ass and be in a five, six, eight year relationship to just walk away? You know, I mean, some people do it, but I'm just saying like, that's what they're thinking. That's what they're now seeing. And they're like, why would I let all of this go? And so it's like, I feel as if they want to come towards you, but they're holding on. And it, but it's like with their, with them holding on with this four of pinnacles, they're holding on, but it's like, they're being stubborn and selfish and they're trying and they're kind of being controlling. And that's why they're in hermit mode. But in hermit mode to me with this four of pentacles is them seeing how they have been selfish and controlling, you know, and stubborn. Why is the four of pentacles here? Yeah, see, in this relationship, they're seeing how they've been in control or being controlling the knight of wands, being on and off the emperor energy, you know, trying to control the foundation, you know, being stubborn in the foundation, thinking about themselves, you know, selfish, stubborn, you know what I'm saying? So it's like with the ten of pentacles, it's like instead of them acting like that and repeating this this energy here of being like that and being back and forth with you they're now seeing that what you guys had is much stronger than they knew 
with this Ten of Pentacles and this Knight of Wands. You know, so it's like the Knight of Wands are like, dang, why was I back and forth in this relationship? And I have a Ten of Pentacles here. You know, someone that loves me, that cares about me. So for some of you guys, I just feel as if this person has like completely like shut you out, but they're in hermit mode. And they're going to wake up Ace of Swords and the Magician. For some of you guys, they've already woken up. They just haven't communicated to you yet. Page of Wands. Uh-oh, Page of Wands. So let's clarify the Page of Wands. Yeah, we have the Six of Swords. We have the Ace of Wands. They're going to bring you guys back together. Ace of Wands, New Beginning. Okay? So the Six of Swords is you guys coming back together. New Beginning here. So this could have been like Air and Fire for some of you guys. Fire, Fire. However it resonates. Any sign. All the energy is here. Well, all the elements are here. Okay? So... I'm not going to do third party and no communication today. I'm just going to do the overall energy and pull romance angels. So the overall energy we have is the eight of cups here, the tower, the four of cups, and then we have the four of swords. So it definitely resonates. The eight of cups is them walking away, okay? But realizing their emotions and feelings are real and valid, like I said, and still in love with you, king of cups here. So it's like they're going to turn back around. They're going to come towards you. The tower is them seeing how they broke down the foundation, okay? And how they want to rebuild it here. And we have the four of cups. You know, they're lost in their thoughts. They're emotional right now. And like I said, they do want to clear the air. You know, it's like they want to come back together. They want to, they want their foundation back. And then we have the four of swords. So they are resting and retreating. They have isolated themselves from you, the four of swords and the hermit. They definitely, you know, are not saying anything. There definitely is no communication here. Why is the tower here? We have the king of wands. We have the two of pentacles. Some of you guys can be dealing with a king of wands. Or you could be a king of wands. Male or female. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And with the two of pentacles, dealing with an earth sign person. But any sign. But with the two of pentacles, they're trying to find balance. Rather than have a false start. Because I feel like that's what you guys did in the past. You guys will come back together. And things will keep falling down. So with the two of pentacles, they're finding balance. Or trying to find balance. And then they're going to take action as a king of wands. With this new beginning, Ace of Wands and the Six of Swords and bring you guys back together and rebuild the foundation back. Okay? So, that's our energy for today. Let's pull some Romance Angels and see what we got. Spirit of Universe, please give me some Romance Angels. We have a wedding. This situation involves marriage. So for some of you guys, you could be married to this person. So we do have the Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. We have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. I've seen that with the Four of Cups. So they do want to open up and talk to you. And we have reconciliation that came out. And then what else? I mean, the other card that was under it is trust. But I'm not going to pull off for. So I'm just showing you guys. We have trust here. And it says this situation is calling for you to have faith. So for some of you guys, you guys really just need to have faith in this situation. Okay. Um. So we have wedding. We have heart-to-heart -heart conversations and reconciliation. I really don't have to pull no cards for that. So some of you guys were married. It's like you guys are going to open up and have a conversation and come back together. If you're not married, I just see you guys having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation and coming back together. You know, both opening up your, your feelings and emotions. But this person, like I said, is isolated from you. Okay? Oh, well, let me do it where I can't see the overall energy. Okay, so, I mean, let's see what these cards have to say. The overall energy is honeymoon. Yeah, so most definitely if you're married, honeymoon, this is you guys bringing the the connection back together but this can this is also if you're not married you know it's like a honeymoon is like seeing if the spark is still there seeing if the love is still there you know king of cups he obviously is seeing that the love is still there so i feel like this person will open up to you but this is going to be a, out of the blue open up like they're going to open up when you least expect it i feel because that's how the king of cups is you know they're emotion they give all these feelings and emotions but at the same time we already know how they can be but they do spare the moment type shit so let's see why is this wedding card here we have the moon and we have the two of wands here. 
So you guys could have been dealing with a Cancer or Pisces, or you could be, okay? And this could have been like a Cancer and Fire relationship or like a Pisces and Fire relationship. Any sign, though. But it's just letting me know that this was a phase for you guys, okay? And the Two of Wands is them seeing, like, you know, why did I leave my relationship? And they're going to want to come back and close that old cycle out and, and bring things back together or, like, close out this phase. So any hidden feelings and emotions or anything that was covered up, it's now brought to light. And they realize with this Two of Wands, like I said, that they made the wrong decision by walking away. And they want to come back together. Now we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. We have the Death card and we have the Knight of Cups. So, yeah, things aren't ended between you guys. The Death card is, the, you know, you guys ended things in the past. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or you could be. But the Knight of Cups is them coming back to reconcile the relationship. You know, coming back to talk to you. So there will be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. And then we have reconciliation. We have the Seven of Wands. We have the Two of Cups. So, you know, this person is going to, you know, stand up for the relationship and come back and fight. The Two of Cups is you guys coming back together. Most definitely reconciliation here. Okay? I'm just going to pull an advice card. I'm not going to do our usual message here. Okay? Let's see what advice we have for the weekend. Spirit of the Universe. Ooh. What advice do you have for us for Friday, July 20th through the 22nd? We have go outside. Okay. So it says go outside. And it says you have been indoors too long. Go outside and get some fresh air. So I just feel like honestly for some of you guys. Like this situation you know. Probably has been taking a toll over you. Or maybe you haven't really got outside. I feel like you guys like of course go to the store. Take care of business. But I feel like you guys haven't really like got out. Stepped out in nature. Went anywhere. Like have fun. Or like did anything. Because you really miss this person, you know, you want to be with them, okay? So I feel like maybe you guys just need to go outside and just start thinking positive, like, you know, bring in a different energy. And at the bottom of the deck, we have home, okay? And it says your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. So I feel like this person is going to come back. Things are going to be healthier. Like this situation is going to change. It's going to improve, okay? But you guys have to be positive to to allow this to come towards you guys okay and then we have independent here and i love this energy um and i feel like this is resonating with them because i feel like for some of you guys like i said how things became codependent you were pulling in all the weight they didn't realize their feelings you know you kept the relationship together and the independent card says your independence is a foundation for your strength and success that person needed to know how it was to be independent so that they can bring strength and success to the relationship to keep it strong, to keep it together. Instead of just leaving everything on you, okay? And dealing with their codependency issue, the devil, okay? And releasing that negative energy and coming into their independence. Where they are independent enough to take care of their relationship, their foundation and everything, okay? And not leave things up to you because for some of you guys like I said the, the foundation is like when you guys started things were great you know but even when you guys started as the eight of pentacles I just still feel like you guys were putting more in it could have been like a 40 60 or 30 70 you know and things did grow but it was more so because you guys allowed it to grow because of what you put into the relate what you put into the relationship okay so that is your weekend of reading I freaking love you guys. You guys are amazing. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I will see you guys on Monday with our daily. Um, and I'll be posting the third party, the no communication in the case of the ex readings over the weekend. All right. I love you guys. Stay awesome. Don't do nothing that I won't do. And I'll see you guys Monday. Bye, loves.